Good day to you once again and welcome to another learning session on this YouTube channel. Today we will be looking at how to install ONTAP Simulator on VMware. Uh, this is a continuation of uh, the video which I made earlier on uh, downloading NetApp Simulator and I had another video where I explained what um, ONTAP Simulator is what ONTAP is actually. Um, today we're going to get practical and uh, get our hands busy on something. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to download the ONTAP Simulator, which we have done in the first video. The next thing is to download uh, VMware. So to download VMware, you simply will need to add to Google and just um, okay. So just let's go to google.com and search download VMware. Okay. So when you can click on download from no, okay, so you are, I expect that you, if you can try Workstation 16.0 for Windows, if you're a Windows user or a Linux user. So once you click download and you download that, um, you should have it saved on your system. I have downloaded it for the purpose of this training and here is the file. So you click install and you should bring it up i have it installed on my system already so once you bring it like this um so it's going to come alive on your system and you'll be able to see it so uh the next thing to do so you follow this instruction you follow through the weight white compute space and so you follow through next and you agree to the license user um, user agreement then next so uh it's important you add vm workstation console tools into system pack it's very very important and you also need to uh enhance keyboard driver so you'll be able to you know have issues with in sending commands to vm but i will not proceed with this because i have vmware installed on my pc already so I'll quickly just launch that on my PC. So I'll be launching VMware on my PC right away. Don't forget we are we're going to be using on tap um, 9.11. So here, simply this is when once you have installed on tap on your system, uh, VMware on your system, VM workstation on your system, you should have it this way you should have something like this uh i have done this that's why you can see this on mine i've done i have like five vms on my system so to create a new vm what you need to do is to create a new vm so you click on create a new virtual machine so uh sorry you need to open a virtual machine rather you open a virtual machine that is why you would notice that your on tap simulator it's a cvo file so click on it's an ova file so you'll see so i'll go straight to where my on tap is downloaded so I'll pick 9.11 that we will be using for our tutorial so open so we're going to give it a name. What name should we use? So we're going to be having uh, the name to be on top team little theme. Okay, or break that um, node one. Now let me explain this. For you to form a cluster, you need two nodes. That's node one and node two. Uh, you're going to install 
on tap on both nodes one individually you install on node one you install on node two so each cvo each of the um, um sorry each of the simulator each of the nodes will have the simulator installed on them yes you'll have to install the on tap simulator on each node that means you're going to create a vm for each of the nodes you create a vm for node one you create a vm for node two so this first video will create a vm for node one and that's what we we'll basically do for this video we'll create a vm for node one so let's get to it so this is the part where it's going to save on my system so i'm just going to simply import doing that so let's wait a while 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 uh, this is completed So once it's completed, simply click on play virtual machine. Okay, you can also edit uh, automatic. What NetApp has done for us is the needed configuration had been done earlier. If you check on it, click on edit virtual machine settings, you would see that we provision to use this gig. All the settings are being done for you. All the settings, the IPs have been done. So just simply click OK, then play. Yes. So to make it boot immediately, so I'll click Enter. You basically don't have to do anything afterwards until okay you see my mouse was once you click in it's expected that uh, you're going to be running commands but to get to show your mouse back to have access to your mouse back you just simply hold control and alt and I have my mouse back Okay, this is running so uh you actually are not going to do anything on this node one at this point so you just allow it to run so i'm going to pause the video to get to make sure you're not going to enter anything until the booting is complete so um i'll pause the video and um, wait until installation is complete okay this is done so your node one has been successfully installed you see uh, if let me explain this in the in the next one minute now there's something we call um, ha pair in uh, netapp on tap in netapp um, or is this storage infrastructure framework it means uh, you're going to have two nodes node one node two connected together as a single device such that if one is down there will be a failover of all the resources on one to the other you understand so you can configure this as a single node or as a two node but for this tutorial we're going to be configuring two node to form a cluster uh, from that for that reason we will not so for configuring a two node cluster please refer to documentation means we will not continue until we will not continue you know don't go to this ip yet don't go yet hold on you don't have to watch the next video so that you'll be able to uh pro, pro, uh, you're going to set up the second node properly properly 
we're going to set up the second loop properly so hold on and don't go there until so like this we're done once the only thing we need to do is to log in but we don't need to do that now to log in here you just simply need to click admin yeah so you can just say cluster show there's no okay just a cluster or node okay so fine node show is showing us this node and it's it's, it's simply coming up so would actually be configuring all other things in the second video so to in case you need support for your NetApp infrastructure uh, I'd like you to reach out to us at EFO. Simply come to our website, efobnigeria.com. Uh, click on come to the contact session, write us your name, your email address, and give us the subject of your inquiry and get back to you as soon as possible. In case you need um, support, simply head up to head on to our website, click on get a code, give us your details and as soon as we can, we'll definitely get in touch with you. Do have a great day. Thank you. See you at the next video where we'll provision the new two. Bye.